We are now live. Okay, this is Elizabeth Cottrell from smallbizspoken.com and I am just absolutely delighted to be here today with Teddy Burris and Teddy is a network strategist. Um, he has had a very successful career in uh, organizational development, program management, IT management, technology sales. He has been there, he's been in the trenches, he knows what he's talking about and at some point, and I want to find out from him today when that was, he realized that he kind of had a mission, um, a mission to teach people about networking for mutual benefit and he feels so strongly about it that he's written two books and his most recent book, and I'm going to hold it up right here, I hope, I don't know if people can see this or not, um, it's called so Success Using Social Media Starts by Building Relationships and um, it is outstanding. Uh, it is great for people who just don't quite get what the whole social media thing is about and that it really does have a relevance for um, everyday business people and um, I highly commend it to everybody. But right now I am just delighted Teddy to have you here and um, taking the time and I think it's really great. You and I have not met each other in person yet. We've got plans to do that but there's no question that we are kindred spirits when it comes to um, our philosophy our, and our feeling and our passion really for the power of connection and, and, and relationship building. So it's a particular privilege for me to have you today. Um, so what I really want to ask, and this is for my small business and many of them are bricks and mortar uh, Main Street type businesses, um, for you to share first of all how did you make that how and why I guess that transition from being uh, a corporate employee as it were to being to doing what you do today. So, Elizabeth thank you very much for inviting me to do uh, my very first Google Hangout and uh, really really excited about uh, doing this really love the opportunity to share my story with you and, and, and you know bits and pieces of it because even though we have never met in person it seems like we know each other very, very well, and um, and it's because the two of us um, truly, truly are kindred spirits in the world of connecting and helping others. And um, uh, it really blows me away when I think about the fact. I, I think, and I'm not real sure of the exact chronology of of our relationship, but it probably started on Twitter. And then it grew into you found my blog, I found your blog, and somewhere along the way we connected with each other on Facebook, uh, and then ultimately on LinkedIn. Still, never had talked um, uh, in real life or on the phone. Uh, probably no, not even any email at that point. But then somewhere along the way, I discovered that a a, a good friend of mine in Winston Salem is also a good friend of yours. <laughs> and, and the whole world of connecting just started growing more and more and, and we found out that we are so connected it really will boggle our, each other's minds of the people that you know who trust and respect you and the people that I know who I believe trust and respect me say well why, why haven't you two met and um, it's just phenomenal the whole world of connecting uh, when you do it for the right reasons and the right reasons are what I refer to as mutually beneficial and um, so so I'm really really excited about you know this is uh, probably the closest you and I have gotten to a in real life conversation where we are visually seeing each other and I've yet to go up uh, north to, and stop and say hi and it will happen soon um, and so to answer your question how did I get to where I am from corporate America uh, as an IT professional doing organizational development, marketing, technology, consulting, uh, and, and into today I refer to myself as a networking strategist and a social networking coach. And I'll tell you it was, a, it was just a very, uh, I'm a very blessed guy and that this journey has been a fabulous journey to becoming who I am very clearly aware who I am today, and um, and it and it really started with with one very deliberate philosophical change in the way I think, and here it here it is. All of my life as a businessman, I said I want to help businesses be successful, and that was my mantra. I lived that, and I tried everything that I did in life was 
focused on how to make businesses successful. Somewhere along the way, and it wasn't a two before in the head, it wasn't a strike of lightning, I changed my philosophical view to I want to help individuals be successful. And when I told myself that, when I said that phrase, it very clearly changed my journey from a corporate America, uh, corporate uh, successful business person into what I refer to now as a coach. And my coaching is, uh, is not life coaching, it's relationship coaching, uh, networking for mutual benefit, uh, success using social media. And I'm also, I, I, I quit corporate America to start my own business, um, and my business is very deliberately focused in two areas. 50% of my time every single day is focused on helping individuals in a job search world, and it's all voluntary. The other 50% of my time is focused on teaching the, the practices that I teach, the walk that I walk and the talk that I talk about how to network and how to use social media. So, um, so again, it all started with uh, just a philosophical change in my mind about it's not businesses, it's individuals. Well, that's, that's great, and I, I have to say, just based on having read both of your books and from talking to you, I, I think that's probably one of the huge, um, really powerful things about them is that it's very obvious that, that it comes from a place of, of walking the walk, as you say, and it's, that's not a matter of you're bragging about it or anything else. It's just a matter of you believe it so strongly that you do it, and therefore, the examples that you have of everything you talked about were from your own experience, and I just found that to be particularly compelling. Um, I'm curious, when you meet small business owners and entrepreneurs, and I expect that's a lot of who you encounter, I'm sure you do corporate people too, but do you find that there's still a lot of sort of dismissal of social media, or do you find that most people now sort of get the big picture but just really don't know how to harness it? Well, I, I don't want to say that, um, let me say it another way, I do believe there's still a significant number of small business owners who are dismissing it. And those are very, very successful people who started their small business and grew it uh, to be a, a very successful uh, entrepreneurial venture. And they did it the right way. They did it by building relationships. They did it by connecting, they did it by helping, and they did it by giving, uh, and uh, all the right way. And that group of small business owners, many of them still believe that is the only way they can continue to grow their business. And so, to some degree, there's still a, a, a large portion of small business owners out there today who don't think they can take those kinds of activities and do them in a social networking world. They really believe it's um, pressing the flesh, gripping and grinning, face to face, which I believe in all of that face to face. Uh, I'm a staunch believer, and I'll never deviate from this statement, in real life, Trump social media every day. But there's still a large group of people, uh, small business owners, entrepreneurs, and in, uh, in the rural spaces for the most part, who don't think social media uh, can get them uh, any, any value until they get into conversations that I often facilitate that social media is a great add-on, a great benefit to that in real life uh, conversation. And when I show them that they can use social media as another communications method, another communications avenue that doesn't stop them from doing what they're very successful at doing, then the eyes start opening, the aha start happening, the oh man, let me go experience this. And then that opens up the whole other uh, reason why I think my business is going to be successful is because once they realize they can use this new communications tool, once they realize that it really can be beneficial, they need to learn how to use it. Because it's not a marketing uh, avenue, it's not a place for them to sell. And it's not a place for them to hawk their products. And that's what I really, really get delivered in teaching through the book, Success Using Social Media, as well as in my seminars. Social media is a place to connect, to engage. And uh, 
and they have to, we all have to learn that. I had to learn that. I learned the hard way. I made a lot of mistakes. And so, uh, yeah, small businesses today are slowly starting to accept social media as a channel to communicate and engage, uh, and they are starting to be eager to learn it. Uh, boy, you have just you've just said it all. I mean, I, I think that is just right on target. Um, it, uh, what I talk to my clients about is two things. One is before you sell, you have to connect. So yet you do have to make that connection. But also um, the concept or the difference between the old what we used to call what we our marketing was push marketing 25, 30 years ago, and now it's called relationship marketing. And it is definitely a mindset shift. Um, and it's definitely one that um, that people have to embrace. But I think you also said something really important that um, I don't remember exactly how you worded it, but it's not an either or situation. It's an add on. I, that was what you said. Um, it is simply a tool that, uh, among other tools, and it's just a tool that wasn't available. And so while it's not going to um, change necessarily the, the nature or the authenticity or anything else about the way we interact with people. It definitely, however, broadens our ability to find those people that we would want to connect with in the first place. So I, um, I, I'm, your, your experience about where people are in the small business world is pretty, pretty similar to mine. Um, I, I, even compared to two years ago, I'm seeing a lot more people who are, are beginning to kind of get it, but but still are not sure how what it means and how they can apply it. So um, I appreciate that that input. Um, okay, so you suppose you have made that plunge and you are active in social media and you are on LinkedIn, perhaps perhaps Facebook, um, and you've made a contact with somebody that probably would be um, somebody you'd like to get to know better. Um, what, what would you suggest? What are steps to think about to go on and take that step towards the, the uh, in real life relationship without being weird or pushy? And that's, a, that's a great question and, and, and I struggle sometimes uh, not being weird or pushy because uh, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a very comical weird manner. Weird can be good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I contend that I'm a social media freak, and uh, and I strive to be a freak because of the the guidance I get from people like Seth Godin, and uh, and that's a whole other conversation. But we all need to be a little different if we're going to be standing out in a very positive way. And there's the words that are important in social media. You want to stand out in a positive way, and and if we just just use the LinkedIn. Uh, uh, conversation and this can apply to any other social media stream, Facebook, Google Plus, etc. You have to stand out in a positive way and, uh, and a, a, a very simple uh, process that I strive to use is to A, make a connection. Make a real, honest, relevant connection and that, that word relevance is very broad and it doesn't have to be just focused on the, the target, the person with the checkbook. It's uh, relevant in lots of different ways, life, career, business, community. And after you make the connection, what I uh, strive to do is, and as my words I use, let them get a little taste of Teddy just by paying attention to what I share through LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. See the conversations I get involved in, the content I share, uh, the information I give, there's a big word of social media. And once they've got a little taste of Teddy, then I will reach out to them and say hello. And, and if I think it's uh, mutually beneficial, then I'll look for an opportunity to have a, a broader, deeper conversation. Uh, but most importantly, if you're using social media the right way, A, make the connection. B, let them get a little uh, awareness or, or, or idea of who you are from what you share and how you engage. And then reach out and look for a conversation without being pushy uh, uh, or what was the other word you used? Uh, you know, a little weird, maybe. <laughs> well, I, and I think <clears throat> I think that makes sense. And I I, I think a lot of times um, we have heard so many negative things about um, unsavory people online and and the predators and the people like that. Um, so so I have I have felt that part of what you're talking about with the online presence is the na and you alluded to this but it's the nature of your visibility and um, when people have 
either seen you on a video or have heard an audio by you or have seen the content of some of your your what you put out and I think you made a really important point when you said the value of what you share because when you share valuable things with people that they like and that they feel have, are helping them then they begin to feel that warm fuzzy no like and trust factor about okay. you and um, and it's a process and sometimes with some people it takes longer than others but um, but it's uh, I've been amazed um, at how much you can really get a feeling for people uh, that turns out to be accurate the more you get to know them. Absolutely, and and I um, uh, it is all about the being consistent with your message or what you share. I, I I'm involved in lots of things, but LinkedIn is very focused to my business environment, so uh, you won't see me sharing content that's not relevant. Uh, 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 to what I am all about in business. Uh, yeah, I'll have fun. It's important to have fun. It's important to be per, uh, be discovered as a real person while you're also being very deliberate about uh, sharing, again, useful, uh, engaging content. And, uh, and, and the other thing that, that people struggle with, Elizabeth, is that uh, until you learn enough about real marketing, you think the world is your audience. You think you think that everybody could be a customer, and you think that every LinkedIn connection is a potential check, and that's not real. Right. What is real is that when you are real to your message, you are real to your conversation, and the group that you are connected to finds and discovers the relevance, then there's the opportunity for a business conversation. Oh, it allows people to self-select. I mean, they're, you know, they're selecting themselves to be people that you reson that resonate with you and vice versa. I think you're absolutely right about that. Absolutely yeah. right. And the other thing you hit on just now that I think is important is to understand the different social media platforms and what works in one doesn't necessarily work in the other. Um, I tend to share much more professional um, uh, content on LinkedIn. Um, on Facebook, I mix it up a little bit more. Um, I may have a lot more about my family or my personal preferences or what I'm doing when I'm not working and that kind of thing because I do want people to know that I, I'm, a, I'm a real person and, and what, what I'm all about and what makes me, what makes my heart sing, as it were. Um, mm -hmm. So, but I do think it's important to understand the difference and to understand where you're being visible. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you and I are connected on Facebook as well as LinkedIn and Twitter. So you can see that, and at least I hope this is what you see, that I am always Teddy Burris. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what I'm doing, and I might be playing with the grandkids or, or doing some shenanigan activity in a public park, but I will never deviate from who I am. I am, I am Teddy, and I will always be Teddy, and I won't pretend uh, uh, to be somebody different on one social media platform than I will on another. Now, again, when we're having a business conversation, you won't see me doing shenanigans. Um, but, uh, but then again, when I'm on Facebook, there might be something that really struck me that's a business conversation that I think is worthy of sharing to my Facebook friends as well. Exactly. And you have you, you touched on something I think is really important. Um, and I've heard you say this in some of your in both of your books, I think, and that is I mean, we are the face that we put forward in social media is how people are going to judge us and and if we are uh, we shouldn't do anything or say anything on social media or put anything up on social media that we wouldn't be proud of or that we would be embarrassed if our mothers saw it or whatever way you want to do it but uh, I'm pretty sure you agree with that don't you I do and it's one of my principles that I that I uh, just um, uh, uh, I, I say it over and over again to anybody that I think it would be beneficial to say it to and that is this is the, this is the principle Never do say or engage on social media in a way you do not want to be seen, heard, or perceived. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Well, we've got a lot of other topics to, to cover, but I think we'll wrap this up today, Teddy. And um, I am so grateful for your time and, um, and for your expertise and being willing to share it. And I encourage everybody to go out and get this book, Success Using Social Media Starts by Building Relationships. And um, thank you so much. Right. Thank you, Elizabeth.